In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create t-shirt designs fast using the font combinations that are available on Canva. Font combinations are pre-made font templates that you can edit and use to create text designs for your t-shirts. The fonts are pre-selected to complement each other and provide a great base to start with when you want to create text designs that stand out. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to create t-shirt designs using font combinations. So from the Canva homepage, let's start by opening up a blank t-shirt design project. To do this, let's go up to the search bar here and type in t-shirt. From the results, you should see a tab that says t-shirt with the t-shirt icon beside it. Let's click that now. This will take you to the t-shirt templates page. At the top left, you should see an option that says create blank. Let's click this to open up a blank template. This will open up a new 14 by 18 inch project that we can use to create our t-shirt design. And let's zoom in a bit using the slider bar at the bottom. And there we go. Also, for my first example, I think I want to have a darker background. So let's select my template background here and click the color icon at the top toolbar. I can then select whatever color I wish to change my background to. When creating your t-shirt design, you want to try to create your design on a similar color to the t-shirt that you'll be uploading to. So now I'm ready to create my t-shirt design. To access the font combinations, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the text tab. Here's where we'll find several options to add text to our design. If you scroll underneath the heading tabs here, you should see the font combinations. Here's where we can browse through tons of pre-made font templates that we can use for our design. And they have several different styles and combinations, and each font combination can be customized however you like. They do have some free ones available, but to access all the font combinations, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you find a font combination that you like, simply select it to add it to your template. When you first add a font combination, typically the text elements will be grouped together. This means we can easily resize and move everything around at the same time. So next, let's select and change my top text and then change what my bottom text says as well. And as you can see, if you try to change your text with everything grouped together, it can get a little bundled up. So with my text selected here, let's go down to the toolbar at the bottom and click the ungroup tab. This will ungroup my text elements and allow me to resize and move each line of text individually. Once you finish resizing each line of text, feel free to select them all and click the group tab in the toolbar to group them all together again. I can now move my text around and resize it as if they were the same element. If you wanted to change the font of one of your text elements, simply select it, then click the drop down menu from the toolbar up top. You can then use the menu on the left to select any font that you wish to use for your text. So for this example, let's change the font of my first line of text and also change the font for my second line of text. But keep in mind, when you change your font, the size and alignment of your text might change as well. So to fix this, we'll need to ungroup our elements again and resize and arrange them as needed. And once you're finished, feel free to select all of your text elements and group them together again. Also, if you wanna customize your text even further, such as changing the color, simply select it and use the toolbar at the top here. For my text, I think I'll actually swap the color pattern and have my top text white and my bottom text red. So here's my first t-shirt design example using a font combination. Feel free to add more text, graphics, or make any other edits that you like. But for this example, I'm gonna keep it simple and go with this. If you wanted to see how your design looks on t-shirt mockups, go to the top of the page here and click the print with Canva button. This will open up a menu where you can view your design on several mockups and order t-shirts directly from Canva if you wish as well. I think the design looks great and with font combinations, I was able to create it super fast. So let's add a new page to my project and go over another t-shirt design example using a different font combination. So to access the font combinations, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the text tab. From the menu here, we can scroll down and view all the font combinations available on Canva. So let's check out the font combinations and find one to use for my next design. They all have different layouts and effects, so you want to try to find one that matches the style of the design that you're trying to create. For my next example, I think I'll go with this font combination here. And let's rearrange and drag the corners of my font combination to increase the size to fill in more of my template. There we go. And when you add a font combination, all the text elements will be grouped together. So let's select it and click the ungroup tab from the toolbar at the bottom. And I can now edit each line of text individually. 
So let's move the front text down for now so I can edit the back text. And for my back text, I think I'm gonna change it to say world. And since it has more letters now, let's make the text element a bit smaller. And for the front text element, let's change it to say traveler. And to fit on my design with this many letters, I'm gonna need to resize the text box. I think that'll work. Now I can move it back in front of my back text. And if you like, feel free to select all your elements and resize and arrange them as needed. And here's my World Traveler t-shirt design created in a matter of minutes using a font combination. The font combinations on Canva were professionally designed to have the perfect text, colors, and style. So printing my design as is would work perfectly. But each font combination is fully customizable, so feel free to change the text colors, your font, add effects, or anything else to create your perfect design. To help your design stand out, there are several cool effects available on Canva that you can add to your text. To add an effect to my traveler text here, let's select it and click the effects tab from the toolbar up top. This will open up the effects menu with tons of different effects that you can add to your text. Many font combinations will already include effects such as my text here which already has the lift style enabled. But we also have other style options here such as the outline effect, the echo effect, the hollow effect, the neon effect, or even add a background to your text. For my traveler text here, I really like the hollow effect, but I think I'm gonna go with the outline. When you select an effect, you'll notice a settings menu pop up underneath. Here's where you'll find several customization options for the effect you selected. I'm gonna change my outline color and adjust the thickness. So here's my world traveler t-shirt design. I think it looks pretty cool. By using font combinations and adding style effects, you can create some nice looking designs. So let's go over one more example of creating t-shirt designs with font combinations, but this time we're going to be using graphics as well. So let's start by adding our font combination by going to the text tab in the menu on the left. I can then scroll down and find a good font combination to use for my design. For this design, I want something that's kind of bold. I think this huge cell font combination will work, so let's click it to add it to my template. I can then resize and rearrange it as needed. Next, let's change my top and my bottom text. And I'm using more letters, so everything's not fitting on the original text line. So to fix this, let's ungroup my text elements and resize my bottom text. There we go. Next, I think I'm gonna add another line of text. So let's go back over to the text menu on the left and scroll back up to the top. From here, I'm gonna select to add a subheading. I can then change the text and move it to the top of my design. I'm also gonna drag the corner to resize my new text. I think that'll work. And here's my new I need more space t-shirt design. I could just roll with this, but let's see if we can make it a little bit better. I'm actually gonna go to my middle text here, delete the O and fill it in with a few spaces. Now that I've removed my letter, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the elements tab. Here's where we can search the Canva library for all sorts of shapes and graphics that we can use for our design. In the search bar up top here, let's search for planet. This should pull up all the elements in the Canva library related to the search term of planet. Since I'm only looking for graphics, let's click the graphics tab at the top here. I can then browse through tons of graphics on Canva related to the keyword of planet. For my I need more space t-shirt design, I think this graphic here will work perfectly. So let's click it to add it to my template, resize it, and move it over to fill in the empty space in my text. There we go. I think adding the planet really helps to take my design to the next level. If you like, feel free to make more changes, like changing the text color, changing your fonts, adding effects, or even adding more graphics. You can use the font combination as a base and create any type of t-shirt design that you can think of. And here's my new I need more space t-shirt design. To see how it looks on t-shirt mockups, let's click the print with Canva button up top. I can then click to enlarge the mockups and check out my new design. When checking out your mockups, make sure you change the shirt color to the color shirt that you plan to upload to. If everything looks good, you can order t-shirts directly from Canva using the menu on the right. But for my design, I'm gonna download it to add to my print on demand store. So let's close the menu and at the top of the page here, let's click the share button. This will open up a menu with various share options. At the bottom here, let's click the download tab. Here's where we can select our download settings. From the file type drop-down menu, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to adjust the size of your design and download with transparency. 
and using the size slider bar here, I like to increase the size of my design to at least 3500 by 4500 pixels. And to download your design without the colored background behind it, make sure you select the transparent background checkbox. But keep in mind, in order to increase your design size and download it with a transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you've selected your download settings, go down to the bottom here and click the download button. And your new design will then be downloaded to your computer. You can now use your design to create t-shirts or other products or upload it to your print on demand store to sell. So as you can see, using font combinations is a great way for anyone to create high quality t-shirt designs fast. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Canva t-shirt design for beginners tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.